expect a little prick. Waiting at the nurse's station. I'm the one too young for a bus pass or a pension, so I become the center of their elderly attention. I see immediate perplexity, how they struggle to divine my disease, to know it, why I will not show it or say precisely where it hides deep inside my uneasy under 60 visibility. I fear they are all cursed with far worse and get their darts of artless envy. Yet the scant healing in comparisons, I feel no better that they better me with palpable distress. In fact, my heart reacting like a sponge absorbs their fear-fueled tears. A flood of words that loiters on their silent tongues all but drowns me. But I'm soon sounded out, found, drawn in by a timely character, size 16 in navy blue, who wears a starch smile and the scent of disinfectant. In her medic's crypt, she readies a gleaming hypodermic, steadies me, then injects I'm sick. I'm sick of being told to expect a little prick. A witless innuendo meant to lift the suicidal into mending and relenting. It's only B12. My third of the week. But uh, I tell myself that one day Probably a Monday when the sun won't shine. It might, thank life, be the real thing, a substantial sting. Heroin. An overdose of the deadly feminine from which there will be no recovering. <laughs>